What's going on, my peoples? We are about to start to go lift. Um, gotta get about ten dollars of gas. Nothing too crazy. Um, and uh, I have I think I think I think something's in my tire because the uh, pressure went went low. Um, but anyways, let's talk about the title of the video. Have I had any crazy people in the lift? Now, I only do this part-time, you guys. I don't do this. Uh, this is not my full-time thing. Uh, I'm already kind of tired of doing it <laughs> because, uh, for one, manual. It's just not the way to go if you're doing lift, DoorDash, whatever. Whatever you're doing right. And, uh, so, um, I'm, I'm a skilled manual driver, all right? So, you guys don't worry. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the road, and, uh, you know, we, we're good. Uh, but, anyways, I've only had one, like, kind of, like, it wasn't, like, super weird, but kind of, like, creepy sometimes, I would say. Uh, there was this, there was this woman I picked up and she was I don't know if she was high or what what was going on but she was vaping I don't know how all that works I don't know if you can get high on those I, I don't I don't know I've never smoked in my life uh so I, I I don't know but uh she kept stalling like she kept moving like slow and I'm like bro come on like <laughs> like get, get like get in man like in my mind I'm like get in just get in and uh so she gets in and she has some like headphones on, kind of like Bluetooth, the ones that kind of like go like behind your neck and you connect them. Um, and I don't know if she was talking to somebody or if she was talking to herself because she would change the subject and just be just weird at times. I don't, I don't know. It's it's hard to explain, but she would giggle sometimes. She would just. Uh, like I said, some of the topics she would like switch and then she'll start laughing again and giggling and it was just weird. And then I was driving her to Nashville. Um, I was, I picked her up on the outside of Nashville, uh, and I was going to drop her off, uh, the more of the downtown area. And, uh, so she, uh, oh, there's another Jeep behind me. Same, same as this one just has a little stripe in the, in the middle, but, um, so at one point there was there was there was there were some cops that were uh I guess trying to answer an emergency call or whatever. So they turned on their you know their their sirens and I could see them, I could see the lights. It was it was at night, it was you know it was dark, and I could see their their sirens and I could hear them too. So as a citizen, you know, what do you do? Uh, you you pull over to the sh shoulder and 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 let them and let them go right, uh, and so that's what I did. And if she listen, if you're gonna be in a Lyft driver, Uber driver, in an Uber, um, just make sure that you're that you know what's going on. You know, have one earphone out or whatever, just so you know what's going on, so you don't know you don't get tripped out if something happens. Uh, just just be aware, right? Just be aware of your surroundings. Um, and so I pulled over to the shoulder and she freaks out because she thinks, she probably thinks I'm about to kidnap her or something. And I'm like, and she's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? So why are you stopping? Why are you stopping? I'm like, lady, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, make way for these cops to, to go. They got their sirens on and, and, and it's an emergency. They got to go. I'm trying to get out of their way. And then she literally goes back to just being nonchalant, just be and just goes back to looking outside the window I'm like, what is wrong with this woman and then i drop her off thank thank god it was a short drive it's probably like a 10 minute drive um but it was it was it was weird um i've had others where i lift at uh you know saturday nights and i'm not the type of per i'm not a confrontational type of person and i'm not going to try to make you feel bad or anything but whenever there's a group of people that come into my car I don't mind, you know, them, you know, giggling, doing, doing whatever. Just don't 
touch my my area like my don't touch my music don't touch my volume don't 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 be you know uh putting down the 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 window and yelling at people and you know try to be cute or whatever so i had these uh these these girls in 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 here and uh the one in the the passenger um was she was she was already you know she had you know some some alcohol in her and uh, i I could tell and uh and like I said, I, I don't like to be rude. I don't like to be that type of person to be like, hey, stop touching or whatever. Like, I'll accommodate you. Like, I'll even set the temperature that you want. Some guy was like, hey, you turn the AC off. And I was like, I'll meet you, I'll, I'll, I'll meet you, you know, in the middle. I'll, I won't turn it off, but I'll turn it down. Um, you know, I'll, and so, you know, like I said, I don't like to be, a uh, camera died. Uh, so I got to get at char- charge it and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, like you said, I don't, and you know, I was trying to be, you know, nice and cordial and whatnot. And they'll be like, yeah, I mean, you know, what kind of music do you want? You know, you can, you can, you can, you know, turn up the volume up a little bit, but nothing that's going to rip my, my, my speakers out. Um, and then she kept, uh, uh, turning down the window and, and, and doing that, which at the time I was like, just trying to keep it cool. Just, you know, do whatever you want. Their stop was like a light, like a light more and then it'll be a drop off so i was like whatever but um just don't do that (laughs) just don't do that um and uh but that's basically it everybody else has been you know respectful um oh something man something if you haven't taken a shower in a month if you are stinky if you smell like armpit please don't order a lyft or an uber it it's man i picked up two gentlemen and they were back to back too i picked up two gentlemen man it was crazy the first one smelled like straight up armpit and i i had the windows down and if i can smell it and you're back there you 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 uh you need a you need a wash man you need a wash um and so i dealt with that and my second one i couldn't take it anymore i had to crack a window and i was trying to make an excuse on why i cracked the window but he never asked so um, you know, yeah, I was lucky on that, but one of the things that I do hate is just stinky people. Like if you, if you stink, if you don't smell good, man, like just don't order an Uber. That's all I got to say. Those have been honestly, like the, the stories that I've had, everybody else has been great. Um, it's, it's nice to meet people that, um, are different. Uh, stages in their life. I, I like to talk to people that, you know, older people that I get in here, I like to talk to them about, you know, you know, advice. And they tell me, you know, what they've gone through life, what they're doing now, what can, what they can recommend. And I tell them, you know, why I'm doing it to get debt free. And it's good to, 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 to talk with people that share your same mindset. And they're like, Oh, I, I did that for a while. I got out of debt. Now I don't have any debt. Now I'm joining a retirement, things like that. So I get to meet a lot of cool people, uh, people that fly from here to there, that are, you know, that are here in Nashville for uh, a certain event. I've met people that uh, are kind of like influencers. They run their own like marketing business and things like that. So there's a lot of cool things, a lot of cool people that you can meet. But as far as crazy experiences, um, I don't want one. And I I haven't had a crazy, crazy experience, but uh, I'm going to keep doing this until I'm debt free. So, you know, whatever comes, I just pray to God that... (laughs) that I can, you know, overcome that, those type of people. But, um, I haven't had anybody throw up or anything like that, but, um, I do keep a little basket in the, uh, or like a little, what do you like, like a trash basket or whatever. So if anybody, you know, decides to, to just, you know, throw up, I guess they can use that, but I haven't had anything like that. Uh, hopefully I don't, but, uh, yeah, those are my experiences. Like you said, um, Lyft is paying off my debt and uh we're gonna keep going we're gonna keep going let me know if you had a crazy Lyft or Uber experience let me know and uh yeah if you ever see me around say hi we can talk about something and uh chop it up and and have you know have a good conversation in here if you're ever in the Nashville area so anyways thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys in the next video